In the past on this river, the Liu Bao tea farmers would transport their tea into Wuzhou City. This whole waterway was called the Cha Chuan Gu Dao, which was the tea trade waterways. Liu Bao tea emerged in the Tang and Song dynasties and flourished in the Ming and Qing dynasties. It is reputed for its unique features like the dark color, strong flavor, years of preservation and mellowness. And since the Qing dynasty, Liu Bao tea began to be transported from the Trunk Waterway in Wuzhou to Guangzhou via the Liu Bao River, Dong'an River, Hejiang River, and the Xijiang River. And then it was taken to Nanyang and other parts of the world, becoming one of the major commodities on the Maritime Silk Road. However, as time lapses, more convenient means of transportation came along and replaced the waterway trade. And the ancient tea boat waterway gradually went into a decline. The annual output and sales of Liu Bao tea dropped from about 1,500 tons to 197.5 tons. The number of impoverished households had gone up to 760, with 2,863 people. My name is Mario Cavallo, who's lived in China for over 20 years. This is my first time in Liu Bao town of Wuzhou in Guangxi. I wonder how the town rose and fell because of its waterways, and how poverty alleviation are encouraged following the comeback. Visiting the village and will allow me to better compare the differences between the poverty alleviation models of the United States and China. Tongping, a village where every household used to grow Liu Bao tea. However, over a decade ago, due to limitations such as geographical location, the decline of waterways and marketing channels, tea farmers gave up and they fell into poverty. It's time to go in and meet Tea Master Wei. Follow me. Wei Jie Chun, the inheritor of the intangible cultural heritage of the traditional craftsmanship of Liu Bao tea. She has stuck to the original and traditional handmaking style for six decades. Shi Ru Fei is the daughter of Wei Jie Chun. She has inherited the traditional handmaking skills. With the support of the government, the model of combining intangible cultural inheritance with handmaking has been recognized by the market. Despite the small scale, the villagers helping each other to form brand sharing. Liang Jiayi, a member of the Tea Cooperative of Master Wei. Okay. Right here, we're following Master Liang to the Baji Tea Mountain. Due to insufficient green tea production by the cooperative, most tea factories in Wuzhou choose to cooperate with tea farmers based on the tea plantation. The tea industry is growing at the same time tea farmers are being helped out of poverty. With over seven decades of history, Wuzhou Tea Factory has pioneered the introduction of new Liu Bao tea technologies. Having revitalized following the government's policy support, the factory is actively contributing to poverty alleviation. Wuzhou Tea Factory provides 20 tons of organic fertilizer to tea farmers freely each year. Quality tea seedlings are distributed to impoverished households, which receive training on tea growing and maintenance and tea making technology, thus drawing more and more villagers who had left to work as migrant workers back to the village. The local government, through vigorous efforts for almost a decade, expanded an industry to an industrial cluster with about 86 square kilometers of tea plantations and a total output of over 20,000 tons, worth over 3 billion yen, and totally in general output value of over 8 billion yen. See, poverty alleviation doesn't happen overnight, and its most challenging task is the prevention of a relapse into poverty. For instance, 
Three decades ago, the incidence of poverty in the United States was 15%. However, today, 600,000 Americans remain homeless. Well, this isn't because the United States government didn't attempt to alleviate poverty. Generous official and private donations have been made, while many poverty alleviation projects have also been launched. But it's difficult to prevent the beneficiaries from relapsing into poverty. However, take Liu Baoti, for example. Being government-led doesn't mean fully state financial support. Instead, it's with social participation while being self-reliant and with all-round development. Now, I've made a major discovery in Wujo, the Alibaba Vault. Let's follow Dr. Ma and enter his treasure trove of teas. Ah, this is our Hong Kong Cha Cha. Wow, Cha Yi. Dr. Ma Shucheng is a dedicated senior tea manager. He's amongst the first Chinese-educated tea doctors. After many years of experience, Dr. Ma leads his team and promotes the protection of this traditional industry of Liu Bao Tea. As well as the financial industry's systematic development, like wine, tea increases steadily in value as it ages, and a large tea storehouse is like a vault. We this Liu Bao Cha, it contains a culture, health, and investment tradition. So we built this public tea storehouse to let the tea be kept here for the long term. And the longer it ages, its quality is better and the price is higher. So we have many manufacturers here to keep it here. We witnessed the success of investment in such tea storage banks where thousands of tons of tea are meticulously stored in a controlled environment, increasing in value by 15 to 20 percent per year. The financial attributes of aged Liu Bao tea have been uncovered with the foundation of the tea bank. Wujo has staged global promotional campaigns for the tea boat waterway in seven countries along the Belt and Road Initiative, such as Malaysia and Indonesia, and around two dozen Chinese cities. The participating enterprises have received in total over 100 million yuan worth of orders. A small piece of tea leaf has become the supporting point of the Archimedes lever that is reviving Liu Bao Town and even all of Wujo. Here's the largest key hydraulic project of the Xijiang River. The expansive confluence of the three rivers stretches for 200 kilometers along the Golden Waterway. Over the last decade, the sea freight capacity grew from 39 million tons to 145 million tons. Right now, I am standing here at the single water lock that exists along the Xijiang River. Learning about the modern day water locks of the Xijiang River, Stepping back in time, up in the charming Liu Bao tea fields, our Wuzhou adventure from the soil to the river remembers the past, reveals the present, and encourages a bright future. Bye -bye.